Hi everyone, let's begin. In this video, we are going to run Man Whitney U test in Python. So Man Whitney U test, as I had already explained you, Man Whitney test, we are going to apply when uh, this is our non-parametric test when our data is abnormally distributed. It's not normal data. So we will apply man whitney u test. And uh, how we have to run in this Python? First of all, what we have to do, import pandas as pd. First of all, we will import this library pandas because we want to read this Excel file. I have this the one Excel file, mindwhitney.xls, but there is the outlets are categorical variable. And sales is numeric variable right continuous variable so i'm not going to use this one is the degree of freedom this one is the file before that i'm going to use here is you can see here i had created one more here is a variable that is df1 pd dot read underscore excel so dependent dot xls x file this same file i had used previously for t test so simply we will run the file and after that you can see we let me print this and we can see here when i had printed this we can see here these are the content in this file before after difference and all and after that what we have to do simply i will use scipy dot stats so from scipy dot stats i'm going to import man whitney u you can see here man whitney u i'm going to use this particular uh, I'm going to use this. I'm importing this man white new. And after that, in this, I just want to check. I just want to check my hypothesis before and after whether there is any significant difference in between both these variables. So simply man white new df1 because I had stored this data in df1 data uh, data frame one. You can see here, and that is why I'm going to use the simple function man white new df one before comma df1 after you can see here man white new df1 before and df1 after and simply i am going to run this then you can see what are the statistics you can see output is here man white new result and p value that is 0 0.07 it is greater than 0 0.05 so we can say there is no significant difference in between before and after so null hypothesis is accepted and alternate hypothesis is rejected in this case in my case same way you can apply the same test on your data and you can prove a null hypothesis or alternate hypothesis this is the so i'm sure in this video we have done hypothesis testing through man whitney u test so keep watching thank you so much